Darast Coffee is a non-alcoholic beverage marketed as a coffee substance product reintroduced into the market in 2009. Dare has seen significant growth over the past four years, averaging a growth of 25%, which saw them recognised at the 2013 Effie Awards, placing second in the beverage, beverage category for advertising effectiveness created by AJF Partnership, and recently becoming Australia's number one dairy beverage, overtaking Ice Break. The ELM model can be used to analyse Dare Ice Coffee's recent January campaign, as this product can be seen as a low involvement on the ELM theory. Dare use simple comedy statements around peripheral cues such as when your place is all over the head and using effective peripheral appeals such as funny situations to send a simple message that Dare Ice Coffee can get you back on track. This product also falls into the FCB model of do learn feel where sales is a primary implication of effectiveness. The market leader for their competition is Coke with Dare currently ranked 4th. The target audience that Dare aims at is the general mass audience with slight segmentation towards coffee drinkers. This seems appropriate for Dare as they look to compete with Coke, V and Red Bull, meaning segmenting towards one or two particular markets could prove detrimental in their overall appeal. This ad campaign utilises non-personal channels of advertising such as broadcast media, print media and social media to engage its audience. In this campaign, Dare look to segment themselves above competitors by highlighting its attributes and quality of product. By doing this, Dare Iced Coffee look to segment not by demographic but by buying and positioning strategies. Use application strategy is used with the tagline, when your place is all over the head, to emphasise the time when you need the coffee kick. Also by awareness, creating funny and satirical sketches through ad campaigns like this one to portray itself in a humorous and positive light. Research conducted by Lion in 2011 showed them that most consumers didn't think iced coffee was made with real coffee. Since then, Dare has emphasised its reliance on pure coffee products of high quality in order to separate itself from other like-minded products such as Ice Break. Under objectives, we can take the realistic, attainable, measurable, specific time-dependent theory to look at their goals and match them against the, its communication pyramid to analyse whether they have been successful in acquiring 90% awareness with their mass media campaign barrage and better than 5% usage increase as indicated by the 25% growth over the past four years. Undertaking the three-stage process of planning, campaign development and post-campaign evaluation can help to analyse effectiveness of ad strategies. The creative strategy of this campaign centred around the research conducted. The message strategies therefore centre around preemptive and USP, where it distinguishes its product with high quality real coffee product and being the first iced coffee to do so, which it uses as a unique selling proposition. As well as portraying a strategy of brand image, where the tagline a dare iced coffee fix will fix it, being emphasised across all mediums of awareness strategies, helps to create a strong and memorable identity of the brand. This advertisement also uses an informational appeal, transported to the consumer in an energetic and humorous way. Because iced coffee is difficult to dif differentiate amongst competitors, Dare utilise a slice of life and humorous executional technique. They do this through their play on words while at the same time telling the target market exactly what it does and why it's so effective. This proves to work well, as instead of doing the typical straight sell, Dare utilise carefully constructed word jumbles to illustrate it, its effectiveness of a strong caffeine hit when you need it. In terms of effectiveness, effectiveness, Dare do it very well. Their targets are clear and they segment the market in a way that targets mass communication to everyone, with TV ads still the most popular. Possible improvements, however, could be utilising increased product segmentation strategies, as Roy Morgan research shows tradies are the number one consumer of iced coffee throughout Australia. With Dare Iced Coffee, a number of media outlets have been utilised quite effectively. Billboards plastered around city centres with the special edition bottles being showcased have caught the attention of the bustling city workers, while TV ad campaigns have been the biggest outlet running interchangeable connecting stories on 15 second ads with the above mentioned creative strategy as well as interaction through social media with the pictured special edition bottles causing huge discussions all over Facebook, Twitter and Instagram promoting Dare Iced Coffee with specialist hashtags to cover all possible target segmentations and media outlets. They have utilised these sets of outlets because the ad campaigns on TV allows them to draw attention from mass audience viewers while the billboards in the CBD target the city workers, who stereotypically are heavy coffee, coffee drinkers, therefore segmenting their market slightly, but still aimed at large mass communication and awareness.